at the instant shown, car A is traveling at 10 meters per second around the curve while increasing its speed 5 meters per second square. Car B is traveling at 18.5 meters per second along the straightaway and increasing its speed at 2 meters per second square. Determine the relative velocity and relative acceleration of A with respect to B at this instant. So he wants V A relative to B and A A relative to B. And here is our unit vector coordinate system I and J. So we start with the velocity of B which is 18.5 in the positive I direction and V A is going to be 10 cosine 45 degrees in the I direction and 10 sine 45 degrees in the negative J direction. Note that both of these angles will be 45 so it doesn't matter if you take the cosine or the sine they all lead to the same number. And if we subtract VA from VB then we will get two components both in the negative direction. So this is the magnitude which is 13.4 and the direction would be negative i with negative j so this is the correct triangle tan inverse y over x and as for the acceleration car b is increasing its speed at 2 meters per second square which is in the same direction of the velocity which is 2 i and as for car a it has two components of acceleration because it's moving within a curve so it has the normal component which is v square over rho and it has the direction towards the center which is 45 degrees from the horizontal and it is increasing its speed so the tangential acceleration is at the same direction with the velocity and it is given as 5 meters per second square. So the normal acceleration will have a negative i component and a negative j component and the tangential acceleration will have a positive i component and a negative j component and if we add these all together to find the acceleration of point A and collect equivalent terms then we will get this bracket in the i direction and this bracket in the j direction which results in this acceleration which is 2.8i minus 4.2j so we found the acceleration of b the acceleration of a and now we can subtract a from b to find a a relative to b and this leads to this positive i component and this negative j component so the magnitude becomes 4.32 meters per second square and the angle now is a positive i with the negative j and we take the tan inverse of the y over x which leads to 79 degrees.